Dear students, today we will look at the Nusinov Jacobson algorithm and its flowchart. Nusinov Jacobson algorithm, or simply the NJ algorithm, is a dynamic programming approach to predict the RNA secondary structures given an RNA sequence or the primary structure. Before we get into the working of the algorithm and its flowchart, you will need to initialize a matrix that will be used to score to score as well as to store these scores for each position in the matrix. If you have a, an RNA sequence of length n, then the matrix that you will require will be an n by n matrix. Moreover, once you initialize your matrix, then you will need to populate this matrix and each position inside this matrix by calculating scores. Each of this score will be computed by looking at the four different matrix positions that have already been filled up earlier. So let's take a look at how this algorithm works. As I just mentioned, first you have to obtain the RNA sequence that you will be predicting the secondary structure for. Once you have the sequence, then you create a scoring matrix, which will of course be empty initially, and then you place the sequence, the RNA sequence, on top as well as on the left side of the matrix. Next, you set the diagonal of the matrix to be 0 as well as the lower diagonal, which in this case, if this is your matrix and here is your sequence, then you will set this diagonal to be 0 as well as the lower diagonal, that is this one. So once you have done that, then you can move towards computing the scores and fill up this matrix. For that, you will need to devise a scoring scheme. The scoring scheme for the NJ algorithm comprises of looking at the bottom, the left, the diagonal, as well as the two rows beyond the left and the bottom elements. So if you have this scoring scheme, then you set each matrix position by looking at the maximum from these four scoring positions. You can look at it in detail if you have the matrix with you and then you can compute and uh, complete the matrix. However, that is not all. So once you have filled up a single position, you have to repeat this process over and over again until you fill all the matrix positions that are above the diagonal of the matrix. So if you finish all the positions up, then you can start with another step in the NJ algorithm, that is the traceback. The traceback will help you to extract meaning out of the numbers or the scores that you have put in the matrix. Until that point, you continue filling up the matrix for all the possible matrix positions. So, dear students, the NJ algorithm ensures that there is a maximum coupling of the RNA nucleotides which can help you pr to predict the secondary structure of the RNA molecule. Moreover, the traceback strategy is used to extract meaning out of the scores that you have put into the matrix. But then, what can be an optimal traceback strategy? And how can you factor in the energies as well? Besides the coupling, you can also look at how the bonding energies can affect the prediction of the secondary structure. 